everybody, welcome back to TQM Travels. Today we had to wake up nice and early to catch a train here to Pompeii. We're gonna be exploring the ruins of the ancient city here, Pompeii. It should be a lot of fun. We have like a two and a half hour tour, but not only that, we're also gonna be driving around to some Vesuvian wineries as well as part of our Airbnb experience here. So really looking forward to trying some delicious wines as well. Right after we got off the train here in Pompeii, you will see a line of restaurants behind here next to the ticket office across the street from the ruins entrance for different foods and things. But Lisa was like, mm, these all look like, oh, they're all like really expensive and touristy. The food's not that great, so. Uh, that's, that's not Spanish. <laughs> but Lisa found us a little breakfast bar five minutes down the road. Basically, you'll just go down the road and then across. Uh, I'll put uh, the name of it down below. But pastries, coffee. We got I, he got two pastries. I got one pastry, and we got a water bottle. Six euro. Six euro. Super they say cheap. It's two euros expensive on the Google thing. I think that's pretty cheap. Yeah, it was. Oh yeah, but maybe that's for like sitting down. We 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 did the counter service, so you just order at the counter and just eat either on the counter there or just eat somewhere else in the area. Uh, if you don't do table service, it's very cheap. I I do think they charge like a pretty high table service fee. But that's what yeah, the negative reviews would say. But man, delicious! Stand. Stand it was <laughs> it was delicious. Really, really tasty croissants. So like a Danish cherry Danish. <laughs> right. Mm. So it should be a nice. Fun filled day here in the area around Mount Vesuvius, so let's go on, head inside, and check out these ruins. Well, Lisa and I are finished up with our tour of Pompeii. Did you realize how big Pompeii was? I and I would say we're, fin we're finished with this tour, but we did not finish all of Pompeii. 
That's true. Oh, that's what I was going to say is, yeah, we were only here for like two, two and a half hours, and wow, you could spend so much time here. The park is ginormous. We only, it feels like we only saw like a small fraction of it, and really. We did even. only see a small fraction of it. That's accurate. Right? Our tour guide was great, though. She was pretty entertaining, pretty informative as well. There was a lot of really cool, oh. well preserved artifacts, oh, really cool buildings, Painting. mosaics, and things. I didn't things. realize there'd be painted. Yeah, I didn't either. I just imagined it being gray white ruins and that was pretty much it but they had a lot of really cool things to see super fun definitely worth a trip away from naples definitely plan ahead though because you do want to try to get your tickets in advance there's like a website that we bought our tickets from to skip the line because there is a long line to get tickets if you just come day up but definitely worth it a lot of fun now we're kicking off the second half of our tour uh, to go check out some vesuvian wineries so that's going to be a lot of fun let's go taste some delicious wine. Chris here with a little movie magic. I realized while editing this video that Lisa and I totally did not record a little outro for this episode, probably because one of us may or may not have indulged a little bit too much in the wine at the wineries. Spoiler alert, it was me. So real quick, I thought I'd give a little final thoughts on our day trip away from Naples to the Pompeii area. And oh my God, that was so much fun. What a fun experience. So we booked this tour through Airbnb. Uh, it was an Airbnb experience where we did the half day Pompeii tour and the half day Vesuvian winery tour. And it was such a great combination. Like I really enjoyed wandering around the ruins of Pompeii. We, we mentioned this earlier, but they're huge. It is like, I did not realize just how big that the archeological park is. And it's definitely worth a visit. And you could spend way more time out there than the two and a half hours that we spent. There's just so much to see. The ruins are incredible. Uh, had a lot of fun with that. And then Lisa and I had a really great time hanging out with our new friends from Croatia while we were trying out the different wines at the wineries. We definitely brought a couple of bottles of wine home. We've actually already drunk them too. I kind of want to order some more because they were delicious. All of the wines we had were spectacular. Each winery gave us some food as well, which we were stuffed. We were stuffed of food, stuffed of wine, great experience definitely worth checking out i'll leave a link for the airbnb experience down in the description below i know they the same company actually offers other tours as well they have like a half day pompeii half day horseback riding tour lisa and i were a little confused at first because our tour guide kept saying oh yeah and then we'll take you to the cars for the horseback riding and we're like um please no <laughs> but it was really fun definitely worth doing as a day trip away from naples and overall we had a pretty nice time in the naples area as well with our different day trips and then our one day in naples also pretty good mix of activities i think i really enjoyed the scenery at the amalfi coast the delicious pizza in naples itself and these amazing ruins and wineries in the pompeii area all a nice mix of activities for a fun trip away from rome but that's going to be it for this episode guys thank you so much for watching we do have one more episode here in italy we're going to be traveling back to rome before we fly home so definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that episode if you enjoyed watching this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and and ring that notification bell so you can be notified when our next episode comes out. Until next time, guys, cheers.